Hey everyone, today I'm changing out the EGR valve on my 05 Ford Focus. I had a mechanic do a smoke test. Yeah, it seemed like I had a vacuum leak somewhere and it was coming out right between the engine block, the EGR valve. There's a gasket there as well. Here's the old one. So this just sits on there. And whatever configuration yep like that and while i was at it i figured i'd just change the valve because it's all gummed up with coolant and exhaust fumes and whatever so i think in reality this is not supposed to be done the way i did it just because of the tool axis either ford has a special tool to access these two bolts to take it out right here and right there or yeah they take off more stuff than I did but since I'm mostly through this already the new ones in I'll just try to talk you through this in reverse so the first thing I did was just take off this section of the intake manifold fold it back um, you can also detach this line if you want um, just started unhooking a bunch of connectors that were in the way and kind of moving electrical stuff out of the side or to the side. Um, took out the battery tray, battery, and that's pretty much all I did. And then it's a matter of swivel joints with a 10 millimeter socket and angled ratchets to get to this these two bolts so the first one's not too bad you have to get underneath this coolant line and the second one was the hardest to loosen up i actually cracked the electrical connector housing um so if you're planning on reusing this you gotta be way more careful than i was because as you can see kind of got a ratchet underneath it so just be aware of that and then eventually just slowly working it out with a variety of different sockets swivels whatever and then getting some needle nose pliers to undo the hose clamp that goes around this um, put a drain pan underneath the car because there will be a little bit of coolant that leaks out it won't be a lot and we'll top that off when, when we're done. So, yeah, that's, that's about it. So right now I've, I've got the new gasket in place, buy a new gasket. I've got both bolts um, hand tight. And, yeah, now we're I'm going to look up a torque spec, get back to you, and start closing this back up. So, didn't find any torque specs for these two bolts, but you wouldn't get a torque wrench in there anyway, so just gooten tight. It's just to get a good seal on that metallic gasket between the block and the EGR valve. So, I think we're about ready to get it all back together. There's the coolant line that feeds the EGR valve, just a simple connector, hose clamp. And, yeah, now it's just a matter of putting all these connections back together, not missing anything. Um, battery tray, and putting back the uh, intake section we took out. Just simple hose clamps. And, yeah, hopefully we've got a good seal on that thing. And then it's a matter of topping off coolant. I use Xerox g05 it's that gold color and we'll see if we have to bleed it or not but yeah uh get back to you when it's all buttoned up together see how it runs so everything's back in place um, one thing i did notice when i folded this coupling over between the air filter and intake um it I'm not sure if this uh, kinked at that point, but it kind of looks like it got rubbed or 
uh, cut away by something, but I now have a hole in this line. Not sure exactly what this is. Have to go read about it, but um, I'll try plugging it for now with just some tape until I get a replacement. But yeah, um, probably the better thing to do is not fold it over like this with a coupling on it. Just remove it altogether and then take the coupling out if you need to. Um, these are just snap-on connections, so you just take this out and then pull it off. So that's the only other thing I found putting it back together. So yeah, let's, let's fire it up. So this hose here, I read about briefly, it's a valve cover breather hose. So within the valve cover, there's apparently some pressurized air mist mixture that um, is supposed to get you know sucked back into the intake and burned again, uh, more environmentally friendly. So I guess really the main thing is make sure it's not kinked off to where there's no uh, flow here because um, you could uh, build up a lot of pressure in the valve case, theoretically. So I think I'm good for now to give it a try. It's probably fine as is. And they're like 30 bucks online, so. And that's it, we're gonna turn it on. Let's, let's go. So everything's running fine, no check engine lights. Uh, I did top off the cooler before I turned it on and sucked in quite a bit, so I have to top that back off. And we'll, we'll run it until the thermostat opens, make sure uh, we get the accurate amount of coolant in there. So, um, yeah, we'll take it for a spin, see, see if it improves anything, and that's about it on the EGR valve.